Hey there, guys. It's me, Fistlab. Then I'd try something new today. Kind of. To the moon. I don't know. I just bought it. it looks interesting. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Receive the equipment. Get the sucker! Let's roll! Alright. Hey, wait! Don't forget the car! Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you! Their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's start pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Uh, let's push it by hand. Dr. Rosalind seems strong enough. Alright, on three. One, two, three. Ugh. Right. I... I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Uh... We need to get going for now. We'll... we'll figure that thing out later. Really? Alright. So, I know just about as much as you. There's Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalind. Male and female. We've got equipment, we're going to a house. Thank you. 
place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts, love him or hate him. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. That one. I've never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watson, Dr. Roslin, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay, you tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a nine to five job, so Johnny let us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if as a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he prefers to be called that. He's upstairs now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. I do not like you, Watts. I do not like you at all. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Anyway, Pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Alright, let's talk with the dog. He's unresponsive at this point. But by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Alright. Ready to set up? Sure. Yes. I'll just be a moment. Sure, come on, 
also power armor is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts! Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? Tell us about our client here. That I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know any details. I would have known more if they were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush. Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for you too. Which one of us plays detective? Uh, Dr. Rosalind, because Dr. Watts is an idiot. And he sounds like Joey. You're not Joey, but Tristan. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Right, do continue. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Thanks. I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. This little bar up here, check it. Right now he's of okay health. Alright, let's talk to the chillins. What you want? Show me around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. Alright, we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Or the candy cane won't hide from us! Yeah, or that! Uh. There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach! It's in the kitchen. I'll put it there to save us while we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour of the house. 
what you say? Well, sure. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. All right, I'll go get it. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. There's the candy cane. And you can't reach it. Cool. Hopefully there's a table here. Received candy cane. Alright, let's get out of here. Terrible. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour of this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Okay, where do we start? I know! There's this funny room in the basement! I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You will see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Okay. This is the book room. book on the upper shelf. Mm -hmm. Pilgrim's Guide to Origami, Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Oops. Dusk Lights, the tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Hell yes. Uh, maybe another year. Well, fine. It shows its hiding spot well. Still a better love story than Twilight. This is the basement. Play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. Mm -hmm. Let's check this out. Door is locked. Open the door with the room key. It's like a cave in here. Alright, let's hit the light. Stuff toy platypus. That looks awesome. It looks adorable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Let's poke it. <laughs> Take it. Received toy platypus. Was weird. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? 
I got the keys. You weren't supposed to go in there either, are you? <laughs> Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So you want to go see the White House? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... I've always thought about lies. I always thought there were lighthouses, so... More clues. It'll probably help us in the end. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about these rabbits. Let's go check that old lighthouse out. I thought I lost it. Ah. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Uh, there's no time to wait. Okay, done. Okay. Let's just hurry to the lighthouse. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We're role-playing away. What? Tommy's got a super... Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Oh. That's, uh... That's nice. You want to roleplay too? I, uh... No. She's not cool enough to do it. Hey. I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. It's a terrible squirrel gun! Don't worry, children. I'll protect you. <laughs> Let's attack it. Volcanic jump kick. Whirlwind slap. Armageddon fist. Shoo. Yelling volume. Loudest. Your, uh, time is at an end, Squirrel Gone. Yeah! Stop it! I won't tell them all, you animal abuse! Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. What? I was just. I wasn't gonna. Didn't you say you like role playing? You should have been ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just forget this happened. So let's go inside. Hold on. What is that over there? In memory of River E. Wiles. River Wiles. A 
Was that John's wife? Don't know. Go on, go on, this is right here. Multicolored paper rabbits. Hey, Russ wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have yeah, come here before he fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things are actually pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd hobby, though. Oh, that's my phone. Is everything ready? All right, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. Receive paper rabbit. Why don't you be late by another half an hour? Not like got a dying client or anything. I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are. Because I'm competent. Your helmet's on the couch. Chub chub. Alright. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Here we go. accessible memory. Disable speech for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Alright, well, since I'm in his memory now, I'm going to call it here. Alright guys, this is Fistleb, signing out. See you guys later.